Hi, welcome to this video in which we will explore how real life research using graphene is helping device technology that is the stuff of movies. So watch this video till the end to find out exactly how graphene is being used in the up and coming cloaking technologies. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. In 1987, the movie Predator captured the imagination of audience showcasing out of this world technology. This included Predator's own optical cloaking and the use of infrared vision to pick up life forms in the dark. This brought many of us to the question, how can infrared thermal vision be evaded? In this video, we will be discussing both these technologies, namely optical and thermal cloaking and how they are coming out of the realm of science fiction and into reality using none other than the wonder material graphene. University of Manchester, which is a center of excellence when it comes to graphene science, has been researching on many applications of graphene, including thermal cloaking. We all know that soldiers operating in the cover of night can be picked up easily from thermal imaging cameras. If, however, a thermal camouflage material is used, it makes objects appear dark, hiding them from detection. In the latest thermal camouflage made by scientists, electric current is applied to the graphene layer, the amount of which varies to get the signature infrared radiation required. By sensing the background heat levels, graphene layer gives off radiation necessary to blend into a warmer or a colder background. The system can change its thermal appearance to blend in with the range of temperatures in a matter of seconds. This technology is not just limited to cloaking humans alone. It can be used to cloak military aircraft, tanks, heavy guns, etc. Thanks to this technology, there is no need of covering oneself in mud to avoid detection by the enemy. In other words, we now have a technology to evade the predator's infrared vision. The second more exciting technology is that of optical cloaking. We all remember the scare we got when we first saw the predator switching on its camouflage that rendered him almost invisible. Optical cloaking can be achieved by different methods. One is by the control of scattering of incident light on an object. The second is to bend the light around the object. So if light can be bent to 180 degrees by using coating of a certain kind, then any object would appear to be invisible. With new age materials, we are getting unprecedented control on the degree of manipulation of light. Scientists can now control both the scattering of light and the bending of light to a high degree. Graphene is an interesting choice for scientists in optoelectronics because not only it can form the coating for optical cloaking, but that cloak can be electrically controlled. This technology can lead to lucrative contracts by the defense industry, hence the level of interest is high in universities around the world. Graphene is being used in the type of cloaking called the metamaterial cloaking. Due to confidential nature of this research, much of the progress in the field is revealed in a controlled fashion. Nonetheless, there has been a significant change in the field of cloaking science since the advent of graphene-based metamaterials. So there we go, thanks to graphene, we now have technology to evade the predator. If you learned something from this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment on what you think about this technology. Thank you for your attention.